Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to get a value based on multiple lookup tables. Let's say for example we have these salespeople and based on the tenure of how long they've worked for a company they would get a certain rate. So folks that have worked for three years or less depend, depending on their sales they would get this rate and if they work for more than three years uh, depending on the, how much they sold, they would get a different rate. So basically, we're doing an if statement. If if they your ten if their tenure is three years or less, use this table. Ten years more than three years, use this table. So that's going to be a combination of an if and a VLOOKUP. So the way that we would create that is we'll type if, and then we're going to look first at the years. So we're going to say that if this value is less than or equal to 3, use the first table. So if that's true, then we're going to do a VLOOKUP on this table. So we're going to do a VLOOKUP, and then we're going to look up this value, the sales value. So we're going to bring up the sales, depending on the sales here. And you should have the sales in ascending order. Let me go ahead and move this tool tip down here. You have to have the sales in ascending order. So we're going to look up this sales here, and then what table array? We're going to look up this table array, right? three years or less. And within that, we want to do the second column. So we want to bring back the second column, right? And also we need to make sure that these cell references are absolute cell references. We use the F4 key, make sure the dollar sign is in front of the letters and the numbers. Let me go back to uh, two here. And then now the column index, I filled that out. And we want to have an approximate match. So basically what it's saying is, if it's between zero and 4999, it's going to go to 1%. Between 5000 and 9999, it's going to go to 3%. So it's going to go and check the next one. If it doesn't fall, if it's not 10,000, it'll go back to that one and it'll get 3% because it's a 5000 in sales between 5000 and 9999. So that's what the approximate match is doing. So I'm going to click that. Okay, let me go ahead and close that. So that is going to bring that if it's true. So basically, it's saying if years is greater than three if it's less than oops less than let me make that less than here if it's less than or equal to three then we will use this lookup now it's going to be if it's greater than we're going to just assume that you know if it's less than it's going to use this table but if it's not true then we're going to use this table we're going to assume that if it's not true then it's more than three years so we're basically going to do a v lookup and using looking up sales again and now we're going to select this table and press the F4 key to make those absolute cell references we're looking at the second column here and then we also want an approximate match and we're going to close parentheses and that parentheses is green so we're going to we want to match it with the end parentheses there so press enter and now it's 7.5 percent. Sometimes you may not get this particular 7.5 percent. I already formatted it. Sometimes you've you've already set it to a general. And so what you need to do is just basically uh, set it to percentage. And in um, the example here, uh, bring it out a couple of decimals. So all I need to do right now is double click the fill handle and bring it down. It's going to copy it down, and we'll do some spot checks here. Let's say for example, Sally has been here for for five years so we're going to use this table and she had a sales of 36,515 so it's not between 0 and 2,000 it's between 2,000 and 5,000 but it's not over 5,000 or, or over so we're going to go back to 5% and so we have our 5% here and maybe something for three years or less we have Ming here who's been here for three years made it 53,717 in sales we're going to look up this value it's not between here it's not between here is over 50,000 so it's between these two so it's going to be this value 4% here so that's how we do it so if we wanted to kind of look through and see how the formula gets evaluated we can actually bring up the formula evaluator that's the keyboard shortcut alt T U F and I'm going to show it down here so we're going to show it for Sally right here so what it's going to do is going to look at B4 which is here and evaluate that 5 is 5 less than 3 no so it's going to use that right so that's going to be false. So it's not going to, this is the true statement here. This is the true argument. It's going to use the false argument. So it's going to use this one. So it's going to go to, do the lookup here. So yeah, C4 underline it right now. 
So now that's applicable. That true is not applicable. So now it's going to look at false 36515 and it's going to bring that into that here, the argument here. It's going to look at this range here now and it's going to bring back 0.05, which is right here. And then, of course, it's going to bring back 5%. We evaluate 5% evaluate here, right? So that's how you can perform a value lookup if you've got multiple tables. It's basically a VLOOKUP and you're using the if function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.